Okay, let's do our stretching from a seated position too, just for people at home who are maybe confined to a seated position. Extend one leg out, flex that foot, and then slightly lean forward, support the weight of your upper body right here, up near your hips. And as soon as you feel a stretch in through the hamstring, not in behind the knee joint, that's where you hold the stretch. Okay, and if not, come down a little further. Okay, you may even feel this in through the calf if you come a little further. And hold it for a slow count to 20. Your head remains in a neutral position, not up like this, not like this. Eyes are down. Okay. And then come on back up. Same thing over to the other side. Stretch out, flex that foot, and slowly lean forward. Just to a point of your stretch. And hold it right there. Today we have two levels of cardiovascular exercise for you, low intensity and high intensity. Not many people are doing high intensity anymore. And some people feel that it's uh, more difficult, harder on joints and that, but it's no harder on joints than running is or skipping would be. So it's a personal choice. I find that I enjoy doing it. I find that it gives good results. And I know that some of you enjoy it. But you get to choose. It's totally up to you, whatever you'd like to do. And there are no exercise police. Not yet, anyhow. So what you can do is you can actually choose to do both levels. One day do high intensity, the next day do low. Okay, in this position here, support mid-thigh again and come forward. This is a stretch for the spine and also for the adductors here. And again, someone's got your braid right here and they're pulling. Flat back position. Hold the stretch, support mid-thigh if you need to. If not, arms are here. And then round your shoulders, round your spine, down you go, head in between your shoulders. And just hang briefly. And roll up, round your shoulders, round your spine. Okay, and in this position here, lean onto one side, use your elbow against that leg to stretch back, and then bring this arm right up, other arm goes down and hold it there. You should feel this in through the side of your body, through your obliques. Hold it right there, your rib cage. Down you come, same thing over to the other side. Okay, push right there, not at the knee joint, above the knee joint, about mid thigh. Down you go and stretch up. Follow your hand with your eye. Bring it to a point where it's parallel with your body. Hold it right there. Back to center, legs come in together. And sitting as tall as you can, circle back. Eyes are forward. And then circle forward, very relaxed. And now push down with your hands and your right ear goes over to your right shoulder. This time bring that hand in front, clasp the wrist and draw it across your body and you'll feel a greater stretch. And same thing over to the other side quickly, stretch. Okay, get rid of your chair. We can't do aerobics from a chair. Well, no, we won't. We could, we probably could. Grab a sip of water, start marching. Oh, that water tastes good. Okay, let's start with our march. March forward and back. Now, for those of you who have to stay in a seated position, you are welcome to join in with the arm movements. Okay, make initial contact with the ball of your foot, Roll through and touch your heel each and every time. And let's just circle back with our arms here. Small circles. And circle in the opposite direction. Okay, high impact people, you're ready to go? Well, let's count down to include my partner then. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring your knee across to touch your hand. Narrow stance, not a wide stance. No further than shoulder distance apart should your legs be. Your feet, you take care, there you go, up. Up, come forward and back in the movement, if you like, or in a semi-circle, whatever is most convenient and most comfortable for you. The reason I say convenient is because some of you have limited space to exercise in, okay? And I understand that. All you really need in terms of space is maybe five feet, by five feet or six feet by six feet. That's all the space you really need. Count down to arms, five, 
four, three, two, one. Now touch down for the heel if you can. You're not leaning. But please don't lean. Just simply bring the heel up. There you go. And touch the heel. Countdown to change. Let's try Hebrew. One try counting with me this time. You ready? Okay. Ehad. Stein. Shalash. Arva. Hamish. Shish. Shmona. Pasha. Esser. Whoops, I missed one. I missed Sheva. Okay, so we counted to nine. There you go. Stretch back. Now you'll notice that the high intensity people, they do a variation of this exercise. If you have a look over there, you'll see that they're doing it a little quicker. Okay, they do sometimes do things a little differently. Therefore, if you are doing high intensity, please watch closely. Okay, here you go. Knee does not come out over the toe. Take care. Make him come to the edge of the toe, but not out over it. The movement is a backward movement backwards in order to get this rear in gear here. This is the type of exercise that you'll want to do if you spend your day sitting. Okay, this type of movement. Increase the circulation and through that area. Count down to arms. Five, four, three, two, one at the side. Tricep work. Turn and face your palms towards you to work the bicep. Turn and face your palms back to work the triceps. Back of the arm. Push down and pull up. And in Cantonese, Chinese, one to ten to change. Ready? Yat. Yi. Sam. Say. Um. Look. Tet. Ot. Gao. And sup. Back at a 45 degree angle. Touch. Touch. Now, please take care. Hips are forward. Shoulders are forward. Eyes are forward. It's just a little bit of a step back. Step and touch. Shoulders in line with the hips. Try not to lean. It's a lot to concentrate on, I know, but you're good. Your form is getting a lot better. Yes, you've come a long way. You've really improved. You should congratulate yourself and celebrate the fact that you've now embraced exercise. Not quite an embrace yet, okay. Well, you like it now more than maybe you did when you were in high school and you used to take phys ed, okay? Good. Count down to arms. Five, four, three, two, one at the side of your body. Reach up, stretch, stretch, good. Don't worry about being in time with me, this is good. That's fine. Okay, if your heart rate is up, if you're slightly winded when we count down, that's good, that's enough. Hey, if you've been exercising with us for a while, you're ready to add a challenge. The arm movements are the challenge. Stretch, full extension. Good. And let's count down to change. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring your knee across the body and lift, lift, lift. To waist height only. If you have lower back problems, if your back is strong, bring the knee up and up. There you go. Arms in five, four, three, two, one. Reach out at a 45 degree angle, then come back to waist with the elbows. Keep the hands shoulder distance apart, good. The reason you don't want to bring them in close like this is because that can actually strain the neck muscles. Slowly with those arm movements, slow and controlled. Okay, not like this. Slow and controlled. Good, really reach. For those of you who have longer arms and legs, it may take you a little bit longer, so you probably will get out of town, out of time with the music. Okay, so don't worry about it. As long as you do the full movement, that's the important thing. Count down to change. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Six. Good job. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's work the rear again. Legs together, lift the heel up. 
Push your arms down by your side if your neck is feeling a little bit stiff. Head is back. Arms in five, four, three, two, one at center. Push down, push up. Imaginary weight that's coming down and you push it down. Good. Thank you for exercising again today. For tuning in. Are you getting the benefits you want? Remember, if you're trying to lose weight, no more than one to two pounds per week, unless your doctor has advised you otherwise. Okay? Any more than that, chances are it's just water and muscle tissue. You don't want that because you're going to gain back what you lost in fat tissue. Okay? Take care. Muscle tissue weighs more than fat tissue, but it takes up less space. That's why you'll lose inches before you'll lose pounds in some cases. Count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, good. 4, 3, 2, 1. Legs are apart. Lift, lift. Work in that same area. Remember, too, when you lose weight, physiologically, you lose it from top to bottom, okay? So it's going to come off here, 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 then here. Make you work for it. Count down to arms. Five, four, three, two, one, and reach up and out. Up, out. Right at chest height and at a 45-degree angle. Stretch. For anyone celebrating an anniversary today, happy anniversary, or a birthday, happy birthday. We're into our last minute. You can do this now, please keep going. Even if it just means doing the leg movements, that's good, it's a start. Come forward and back. Push hard. Please don't give up, don't quit. You've got a lot of times in your life when you're going to have the opportunity to quit. You can always quit. Okay, keep going. There you go. Don't give up. Think strong arms, strong legs. There you go. Let's count down to stop. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, bend the knee. Locate your pulse either in your wrist or in your neck. Count for 10 seconds, follow the clock. Okay, here's our chart. You know how the chart works. Make sure you're within your range. That's a safe range to work within. That's um, fat burning, okay? But if you want to burn more fat, you have to do a little bit more cardio. Okay, so you've got this commercial break. You can do more cardio if you like. Grab a sip of water, and I'll see you right back for time. The Department of Defense has placed women's health, and breast care in particular, as a high priority. We ordered several hundred sensor pads in the hopes that this would um, provide women an additional way of doing breast self-exam. One of the things that I found most impressive when I received the initial... <laughs> okay, let's roll down very, very slowly, very controlled. Use your hip flexors, yes, but also use your abdominal muscles when you get to about this position here. Now, you're not going to allow your shoulders to touch because you're going to roll right back up again. Okay. Now, less intense people, you'll notice that what they do is they roll down just as slowly and just as controlled, but then rather than coming up, they roll over to one side and then push themselves up. Okay, and then they alternate, rolling to the right and left sides. Okay, up you come. Very slowly, very controlled. Okay, good for you. You're doing well. Now listen, if you would like to take off your runners, or as they say in the US, your sneakers, during the SOS segments or during the cool down, you're more than welcome to. 
The time when you need them is during our stretch, our warm up, and the cardiovascular segment. But if we're doing hips and thighs and you want a little bit of added weight, the runners will give you a little bit of that. Okay, slowly up and down, very controlled. Your chin, head is in a neutral position as though there is an orange or apple right here. That helps your upper neck region and spine. Very slowly. You're getting good. Remember the first time you tried these? It was sort of like this. Uh, 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 uh. Was it? Yeah, no, you've come a long way. It's interesting to note too, in some of the, the books that I've been reading, they claim that after you have exercised for one year, your body is in a state as though it, you had exercised most of your life in terms of your flexibility, in terms of your cardiovascular endurance, which is interesting. So one year of exercise will get you to where you should have been a long time ago maybe. The, the important thing is that you're actually starting, that you've decided to make a difference in your life. Maybe you were just loping along, not really too passionate about anything in your life. Okay, exercise is something you can get passionate about. Being healthy is something you can get passionate about. And you can help other people with it. And that's what will probably give you the desire to want to get more involved and learn more. Okay, and if you want some information on um, good reference books, copy down the address to the show and I can send you a list. I'm not at liberty to give that information out during the show, but I can mail you some information on some books that I read that you might find interesting. Okay, roll down. This time we're going to hold it. You can feel us in through your hip flexors. That's okay. Exercise them too. They're nice muscles. Come down into this position. Walk your feet in. Fingertips are on your shoulders as you come up and hold. Just hold it right there, contract these muscles right here. Okay, feel that? Use your fingers or your hand, just to feel those muscles contract. Relax your head. The head has nothing to do with it. Just happens to be attached to your neck, I hope. Okay, and down it goes. And up you come again. Contract, it's the contraction that lifts your body. In fact, you don't even have to come very high. Once you feel the contraction, that's where you hold, okay? So close your eyes, place your hands here, down you go, rest briefly, and then come up and hold. When you feel those muscles contract internally or externally, once you feel that contraction, hold it. See, that's how easy it is. Okay. And down you go, and up, and hold. Now all the while, please push with that belly button so that there is no space here, the spine is flat, and then that way you'll be working all of your abdominals here and then we'll just have the obliques to work. Let's do one more and then concentrate on the obliques. Okay, and down you come. Rest your fingertips on your shoulders, come up and then twist. Twist side to side. Reach over. Keep breathing while you exercise, very important. If you hold your breath, your body is not going to be able to metabolize or burn the fats that it needs for energy. Okay, so give it a lot of oxygen, a lot of water. Very, very important. Don't ever be too proud to be winded, okay? Don't hold your breath. I know some people, when they walk up a flight of stairs, they all of a sudden go, oh, I'm not the winded. And their body is saying they need oxygen, so please give it to your body. Down you go at one level, going off to our exercise break. I have an exercise for you. Lower abdominal work. Place your hands here, draw one knee in, then the other. Legs come up, contract, and release. Try to do 30 of these if you can, more if you like. Grab a sip of water, head is down. I'll see you back after this first stretch. Promotional considerations provided to Canadian Rocky Mountain Spring Water, who supply the water for myself and our crew. For more information, please write P.O. Box 75209, White Rock, British Columbia, Canada, V4A 9N4. Okay, once again, have a seat. We're going to concentrate on doing our cool down from a seated position. Join your hands together and push them out, and then push them up overhead. This will help to stretch out the abdominals. Stretch, reach. This is a nice stretch to do first thing in the morning, too. If you find that you wake up and your body is a little tight, muscles are a little tight, this will help. And release. 
and down they come, and as they come down, allow your head to come down chin to chest. Okay, and this time, lean slightly forward, clasp your hands together behind your back now, and draw your shoulder blades together, and as you do so, lean forward, the weight of your upper body supported by your knees, and then bring your arms up behind your body, as far as is comfortable for you. Eyes are down. Hold a stretch, and then slowly come back up. Okay, and over you go to one side, support the hand on the side of the chair, let your head fall, close your eyes, relax. And if you'd like, if you don't want to support here, just let your arm come down. That will actually help to stretch the neck region. Okay, and then roll forward. Same thing over to the other side. Support if you like or not. Here you go. And up and over you come. And hold the stretch. center. Take your chin to your chest and circle back. Thank you for exercising with me again today. And circle in the other direction. Still with your chin to your chest and bring your head back to center, tongue forward and take your head back.